Hey everyone and welcome back to the second part of the AI Weekly Brief. Let's start by discussing the launch of the Llama Coder app by Together AI, an open source web application that enables developers to create complete applications from straightforward prompts using the Llama 3.1 405 billion model. Since its introduction just over a month ago, Llama Coder has received more than 2,000 stars on GitHub and has been instrumental in developing over 200,000 applications, including quiz and budgeting tools. This app highlights the capabilities of the Llama 3.1405 billion model, which is recognized for its coding performance and has drawn a considerable number of developers to the Together platform, showcasing the benefits of open source AI in application development. Next, Microsoft introduced Eureka, an open source project aimed at assessing and understanding the capabilities of advanced AI models. It analyzes 12 different models to identify their specific strengths and weaknesses beyond conventional benchmarks, and by focusing on challenging capabilities often neglected in standard evaluations, Eureka seeks to offer a more detailed perspective on model performance, encouraging collaboration with the open source community. The framework accommodates both language and multimodal data, enabling customizable evaluation processes and prompting transparent practices in AI assessment. Moving on, YouTube is set to roll out generative AI tools named Dream Screen, which utilize advanced models like VO and ImageGen3. These tools will assist creators in generating background for their shorts and starting in 2025, standalone video clips from text prompts. Dream Screen will present creators with four image options based on their prompts, allowing them to select one to produce a high-quality 6-second background video. To maintain transparency, his AI-generated creations will be watermarked and labeled to inform viewers of their AI origins. The following article introduces Neptune, a new open-source video questioning answering dataset designed to assess understanding of long videos, accommodated in lengths up to 15 minutes. Unlike previous datasets that focused on shorter clips, Neptune includes challenging multiple choice and open-ended questions that require reasoning across both visual and spoken content. This dataset aims to fill the gap in evaluation resources for long videos, promoting advancements in video question answering and multimodal model capabilities. It features a variety of video domains and allows for evaluation through both multiple choice and open-ended formats introducing a new scoring metric called the GEMA Equivalence Metric, or GEM in short, to evaluate answer accuracy. Lastly, Mistral AI has introduced Pixtral 12B, a multimodal model with 12 billion parameters and a new 400 million parameter vision encoder. This model is designed to process images and text simultaneously, accommodating variable image sizes in the contest window of 128,000 tokens. Pixtral excels in multimodal tasks such as document question answering and chart comprehension while maintaining strong performance on traditional text benchmarks. It is trained to manage both image and text data, facilitating efficient processing of complex diagrams and documents. And that's basically it for the second video in the AI Weekly Brief series. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed it and please let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with the new parts I'm going to release. See you in the next one. Bye bye.